What up, YouTube? It's your boy Savio back in again with another reaction video. Today, we're getting into Jungkook doesn't know auto tune or something of that effect. Basically, some compilation of Jungkook singing really amazing, and I am excited. For those who don't know, this is my bias. He has been my bias since before I knew what a bias was. I literally love his voice. Everything about it, I, I cannot stop raving about his voice. The first ever reaction I did to BTS was the on video, and as you know, I mean, he snaps in that song. But from the first second of him singing, I was like, yep, him, right there, that's the one, that dude is inhuman, and I still feel that way 30 BTS videos later, so yeah, I'm really excited about this video. A lot of you guys have requested that I do this video, so here it is. If you like this video, definitely make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you on the other side, guys. Peace. Okay, real quick, I'm gonna try not to stop after every single clip, but that clip is a great example for people to see that setting and situation affects singers. So in that particular clip, he has a lot going on. Obviously that looks like he's getting some type of uh, outfit, wardrobe change. He's having makeup put on him and he's basically just preparing for his next song. Knowing BTS and having seen like a couple of their performances at this point, what's probably happening in the background, what all that screaming is, is someone else is performing as in one of the other boys or you know some other type of line from the group, whether it be the rap line or you know, somebody's solo or whatever the case may be. And so he can't hear himself that well in that video. And so a couple of his notes are off, but they're not majorly off. It's not like he can't sing. We know he's a monster. But sometimes when people judge singers for missing a note or two, they're like, oh, you're a professional singer. You're just, you get paid millions of dollars. You're supposed to be perfect. No, they're human. And also just like you, just how you can sing much better in the shower where you can hear yourself. There's a lot of reverb because there's a lot of hard surfaces. You know, the situation with steam allows your vocal cords to open up. You just sing better. You don't think you sing better in the shower. You actually sing better in the shower. There's like, I can make a whole video on that. But point is, just like you are better in that situation than say you are singing randomly walking down the street. You can't hear yourself as well in that situation and that affects your ability to be able to pinpoint where you are trying to hit and where you are actually hitting. That is why people have monitors, which are like the little earphones in their ears so they can hear themselves sing over all of you guys screaming and singing with them. So basically that's just like a rant 10 seconds into the video to say that even if in some of these clips he's not hitting every single note, one, that's okay because he's human, but two, sometimes it's a situational thing and not an issue with the singer. Okay, all right, I, I promise, I'm gonna try not to make this video a freaking hour long, but like, bro, I don't even know what song that was, but that little acapella bit, again, is another great example of being able to hear himself. Now, the people in the background, not people, the audience was singing with them, they were screaming or whatever, but it was mostly just him singing. And as you saw, he had one monitor out to be able to hear what was going on, but he also had another monitor in so he could very clearly hear himself. There wasn't music playing, there wasn't pyrokinetics going off in the background, and there wasn't a million people like singing along with him. Uh, so all of his notes were crisp. Like that was that was amazing. Like I, what do you say about that? You know. So um, there's there's a big dichotomy between that clip and the other clip. Even though you would think, oh, he's on stage with fans literally right in front of him, he shouldn't be able to hear. It's that's not. It's a lot of times it's it's a bigger picture than what you you think in the moment. So yeah, that that was, that was sorry. That was just a great example of. Basically what I was trying to say, when singers can hear themselves, whoever the singer is, regardless of the level, they will sing better. I'm 
미 여러분들 다 같이 Okay, so uh, completely unrelated to, to what you think I'm about to talk about, I just now realized that when JK sings live, he much prefers to use vowels and enunciation that is much more closed than, a, I don't know if that's like a, a Korean thing, I again have only been reacting to K-pop as a whole for like two and a half months, but a lot of, of vocalists here in the States, you will see sing with a very wide mouth when they're singing it's very big and expressive versus he sings in a much more like i don't want to say sexy but it's like a much more like chill kind of suave way now obviously that will affect in a way how the notes come out because the all of your mouth affects how the sound comes out so when you change the way that you are enunciating the things that you are saying uh, it will obviously affect the sound, but the seeing him like back to back to back singing a bunch of different songs kind of just was like, oh, that's not just a this song thing. That's just how he sings. Okay, so, um, sorry, that was, the, between the insane high note and then this, I was, my brain was, you know, it, it does that sometimes. So, the, this clip right here where he's like in like the little man cave with all the gaming chair and whatever, there doesn't sound to be auto-tune on his vocals, but what there is, is a crap ton of reverb, which... Uh, if you don't know what reverb is, then clearly you haven't been watching my channel because I talk about it all the time. Just kidding. Reverb is basically the echo that is in a given space. Again, bathrooms, because I brought up bathrooms like I don't know how many times in this video already. Bathrooms have reverb, cathedrals, theaters, halls, hallways. Like, they're just. Yeah, reverb is just the innate echo in a given space. And thanks to technology, gotta love it, you can add reverb from different spaces to things that give it a more filling kind of sound. It, it adds depth to, to the vocalist or to basically anything you put it on. I love reverb. It's awesome. There's a crap ton on his voice in this. That paired with the fact that he is singing dumb breathy, like, like really, he's almost not whispering but it's it's the way he's singing is not normal if that makes sense it's a it's kind of like how how people say Billie Eilish has she like whisper sings what that is is just a breathy tone you're letting a lot of air seep through your vocal cords as they vibrate while you're singing and that's that's very different I've never heard him sing like that ever for any reason I don't know what song this is I don't know if that's a a song specific thing I don't know if he has a cold I, I don't know what's going on but um yeah that's that's so different than than the JK I've known for the little bit of time that I've known him <laughs> Okay, 
that's more. Okay, so yeah, that was that was a choice. It doesn't have a cold. We we've established that. It's kind of dumb to say that anyway, but whatever. Um, the towards the end there, I have no idea what he was saying because I don't speak Korean. But he slid back more into his more traditional chest voice, which. Uh, chest voice is basically like your normal singing tone. If you sing similarly to how you normally would speak, that would be your chest voice. And in this section, he is singing in his chest voice. Again, more similarly to how he would normally sing on most other songs when he's singing in chest voice. And that section, if you know anything about his voice, I've literally heard him sing ever will allow you to see how much reverb is stacked on top of his vocals. But yeah, it's, it still sounds good. So like, yeah. <laughs> Again, I'm trying not to stop every five seconds, but like, bruh, y'all knew what y'all was getting into when you told me to react to this. Okay, so, wow. Like, the most impressive part about that was literally, like, the, the small things that aren't even noticeable. Like, the ad lib that he did when Jimin was singing, like, bruh, like, wow, wow. Just, um, oh, so, so, I, I hate using the word effortless because it makes it sound like he was born like this and that he didn't work for years to become this inhuman specimen that we see in front of us, but it looks effortless. If you don't know anything about singing and you don't know how much work it takes to become this the god tier level of a singer, then it looks like, you know what? I probably shouldn't sing. Like, this, there's people walking around who are like this, like just, I'm not gonna sing. Like that's that's kind of how his singing is. Just like everything that comes out of his mouth, you're like, bruh, how? Or just how? Okay, real quick, that was that was a super interesting clip because one, you got to see him make mistakes, but two, did you notice even in his mistakes when he first I'm a hopefully there's more falsetto clips in this because I'll have to break that down more later. I can't get into that right now because I'd be talking for ten minutes. But in the the mistakes that he made, it was clear that he was letting them go, he wasn't beating himself up, like mentally, which is important because that does affect your singing. If you go into take two, still thinking about take one, or you go into take 12, still thinking about take three, like you are are stacking tension on your voice, on your body, because you're, it's, how do I explain it? It's, it's, 
the the mental aspect of singing is way more important than people even know and the the thought that you're taking thinking oh wow i messed up on that really important note so i have to to hold or to push or or all of those things coming into that note again will affect that note and it will not be for the positive like literally the best thing you could do is forget the, the last take now of course if you forget the mistakes you you will repeat them but to to move into the next take without guilt or frustration for the mess ups in the last take will make the next take better and that's why you saw him gradually get better over the the course of him doing those takes because he made a lot more mistakes in the, the first run than he did in the last run and he just individually went through and was like nope kick that out nope kick that out nope kick that out without being like oh i suck i can't sing I, i'm being a complete hypocrite because like it happens you know of course you get frustrated and you're like i know what i want to do and my body's not doing it at this moment but again that frustration will not push you to being a better singer so it's better to let it go than to to be down on yourself and then just make yourself sing worse and then it's just like a toxic cycle of just you being frustrated you singing worse you being more frustrated because you're singing worse and then it just keeps going <laughs> Okay, I know I just stopped, but this is like totally the clip that I was look, looking for in the last, uh, whatever, last segment of him singing. His falsetto is, is, is dumb. Like, it's, 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 bruh. Okay, I know, thanks to you guys, that he went to an idol high school. So, like, he went to a school that breeds idols. So, he has a dumb amount of, of singing under his belt and like like technical singing not just like oh i'm singing in the car but like singing with people who know how singing is supposed to be done and how you're supposed to do it and what you're supposed to do to to achieve certain techniques and again like i said in my intro he is he's insane he is the most technical singer in BTS and and it's not close and that's not to say that he is the best singer because being a great singer and a technically sound singer are are different things you can be a great singer and not be technically sound like it happens all the time you see a bunch of clips of some random 12 year old in a hallway just going bananas and the video the video clip will go viral because he sounds so amazing but if you sit that clip in front of someone who knows about like technique singing technique they'll be like this person's raw they have a lot of talent but they're raw jk is is like a diamond he is refined in his singing and he has he's gone through so much training with his voice that he can do things that are difficult for even great singers like this whole rant was basically to set up the fact that his ability to flip from chest voice to head voice or to go from his like normal natural singing voice into his falsetto is crazy it's it's so again that damn word effortless like it's it's smooth it's it's very smooth it's without friction it's without hitch it's without again the 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 grabbing or the tension and it's impressive because that's hard for a lot of professional singers to do and there are are little things that singers will do to disguise to audience members that they are about to switch and to not have it sound like garbage like whoa what was that in the middle um because that that mix where in between your chest voice and your head voice is a very uncomfortable place for a lot of people like it singing in your your mix is is a skill it's a skill it's not even a talent it's something that you have to hone over time and he is very 
very good at it. Like he just it's it's so good. And because he's so good at singing in the mix, he can transition from full chest voice to full falsetto all the way through without a hitch and with the being smooth, like equally smooth. Now a lot of people can do it, a lot of people do it, uh, but it there there will be a bumpy road and you know it'll be a little speed bump in the middle there. And it's it's not there for him because he's just so technically sound, which again is why basically immediately when I heard him sing, I was like, whoa, where did this guy come from? And again, I still feel that way. I'm still blown away, not only by him singing in general when I hear new stuff, but even the stuff I've heard, I will hear again and I'm just like, bruh. <laughs> Seen this? song if you don't know what it is it's called dear no one by tori kelly you should look it up it's freaking amazing tori kelly is another one of those singers who is very very like a it's a diamond it's a refined diamond and is just so technically skilled her her ability to do runs is, is literally inhuman and she's another one of those singers that when you hear you're like people like this exist like you just want to be like do, should I sing at all? Should, should I just stop? Should I not talk anymore? Like what? How do you sound like that? She, she's amazing. So this is my little moment from stopping from fangirling over JK to fangirl over Tori Kelly. Go listen to her. She's great. Dear No One, it's great. She, she's better like singing acapella, singing live, just doing covers than she is in the studio. And it's, ugh. okay, back to the video. By the way, um, judging someone's sing singing ability off karaoke is really bad because those mics not only are garbage, there's usually a bunch of really weird effects thrown onto the mics, like in this case, that just make everybody sound a little wonky. So, not a great clip to put in this, to be honest. Like, the audio on this clip isn't that, that great. And karaoke, like, I get, like, Okay, karaoke, obviously, it's not like a performance in front of millions of people. 
and it's another opportunity to hear him sing without people just, like screaming over it or whatever. But just in general, if you hear like a karaoke bar clip of someone singing, just 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 push that one over into the this is for fun category and not the this is how this person sings category. K K. <laughs> So that was kind of kind of long. Again, I don't know anyone who's seen my face in any of my videos. I don't know what you expected, but yeah, I had a lot to say about it. I tried not to stop after every clip. I, I was barely successful, but JK's a monster, dude. Like he's he's not even a monster because like I feel like monsters are either born or created in a moment. And JK's more of like he's like a cyborg. That's it. They're, okay, we're about to get nerdy real quick in this outro. Let's do it. So he is is a finely tuned machine. He he was not born this level of of singing talent. Just you, you're not like you, you don't you're not born like this. But he was born a gifted singer who then went through a bunch of singing training and a, a bunch of actual singing because fun fact. You get better at singing when you sing more, and he's he's just now this this cyborg. Like he's he's just different. He he's different. He really is. A lot of people feel that singing is something you're either born with or you're not, and that's not true. Mostly, uh, there are people who are just born better singers than other people. They have like their the way their vocal cords work and. The way they're able to hear notes and whatever. There are people who are just better, like who have an, an innate edge in singing, but anyone can be a good singer. Anyone can learn how to sing. Singing is, it's like learning to play an instrument. Some people are naturally better, like at, at the beginning on level one of playing an instrument, but anyone can learn to play an instrument if they put enough time and effort into that instrument and if they're learning in the, the right way, right? So, Singing is is like that. Your throat, your vocal cords are like an instrument. Even more so, they're muscles. So kind of like how you work out your arms or your back or your legs or whatever you're working out. Uh, and over time, as you, you do the repetition and you do the right movements, because just like you can hurt your, your arms or your back or your legs or whatever when you're working out. You can also do the same with your, your voice. You can literally destroy your voice if, if you're doing things incorrectly, like very, very incorrectly. You have to really be, be you'll know, because it'll be painful. So um, yeah, but over time, there are people who, who start out naturally stronger and, and put in a lot of weight training, and then they end up being The Rock. And, and JK is vocally The Rock. So, um, it's been a pleasure. I've, I've had a blast watching him sing. I like seeing clips of him singing. I like hearing different songs where they're asking him to do different things. Uh, his voice is just just amazing. So, hopefully you enjoyed this, this video. I really enjoyed it like watching this video, make making this video, you know, having a lot to say. So definitely make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share if you like this video and content like this. And we will see you next time, guys. Peace.